Hello, it's Michael Michael Ratcliffe and today we're planting the seeds because the competition has started. I planted in Rockwell like you can see before me. Um, there's a couple of stages when planting in Rockwell. Right, so this looks like a perfect opportunity for a side-by-side -side test. The one on the left here, I soak them in a pH buffer and a nutrient solution. The ones on the right, I only did the nutrient solution part, so this is just the pHs. I didn't change that at all. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video in a week comparing the growth of this to this, well, a week or two weeks, however long the growing period is. Comparing the EC and pH buffered solution versus just the EC buffered solution. Michael Radcliffe and today planting the seeds for the competition. So I use these Rockwell starter cubes because mine's a soilless system, so I don't want to be adding soil into it, so I use these cubes. Um, they're pretty easy to do, you just push the seed in the middle, soak them. But first we need to soak them in a nutrient solution and pH buffer because they're slightly acidic I believe. So what you'll need, you'll need an underbed tub like this one from Walmart or Asda depending on what part of the world you're from. The reason I use these is the waterproof containers and these starting pods fit straight in. So. To start we want to make a tub to soak the starter cubes in for around half an hour. So what you'll need is one of the tubs, half full with water, your seeds, pH meter, uh, EC or PPM meter, some nutrient solution and a pH buffer. We'll start by doing the... Um, EC. I usually sort my cubes in the EC of around one. So we just tip some nutrient solution in, mix it up and try and get the EC to be around one. So that we've got it around one. The next step is pH. We need to we need to make the solution of pH for around 5.5. Right, so I've just adjusted the pH down to 5.5 using some acid or alkali in a pipette. The next step is you take this starter cube, put them in there, put the lid on and move them out of the way because they're going to soak for around half an hour. And that's just so the cubes change pH. In the next bit I'll just show you how to place the seeds. If you can see what I'm doing there, I'm just placing one seed on top of each and we'll push them in with the nib of a pen into the holes. So if you just look here, you just push it in slightly. Try to get one seed per pad. To put them in the propagator. So this is the propagator. It's got a heated base with some granite in the bottom. Now the reason for the granite is is because when I water these I don't want water to pool at the bottom so this is just a, a medium to keep them off out of the flooded water. I use granite because it won't affect the pH at all. So place them in your propagator, put your lid on like so, and then the final step is to set the minimum temperature. Now, I'm going to have to go and read online to see what the germinating temperature for these is. With this, this is the temperature now and the minimum set point. I'll go with 20 degrees because until I go and read out the exact number, it'll be a good finger. So what this will do now is whenever this heated propagator gets below 20 degrees it'll turn the heater on so we should have a high rate of germination in there now I think I've got 240 seeds so we can see uh, the germination success rate quite well uh, one final word is this liquid which is left over from pre-soaking if you put this in a watering can it's, you can use it to water your seedlings until they're ready to transplant um, so keep watching the video I'll put more information in the lines below.